All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to weigh in on it. I'm tired of people keep continuing to keep asking me over and over again. But listen, I'm not a trends uh, a person that gets out here and try to jump in front of things and tell you, nor am I a prognosticator, so I can actually tell you or divine what the future is. But since you're asking, I'm going to go ahead and put it out here. All right? But before I put it out here, I got to say this again. What is wrong with Chicago, New York, California? What's wrong with them? And New Jersey, Washington, D.C. What's wrong with them? All of them have the most strictest gun laws on the books. And per capita, most murders happen on one weekend in Chicago. I should say one month in Chicago. Then happens in every major city all across the United States of America. That is sad. Chicago, again, another six to nine people dead this weekend. Another 63 injured. Gun violence. Huh? Simply amazing, huh? And then what's the problem with Illinois? Guns. They're gun laws. You see, here in the South, when everybody carries guns and has guns, or potentially you may walk up on someone that is armed, tell you what, man, an armed society is a very polite society. And that's the truth. But think about this for a second. All right, we got the presidential election coming up in November. And the question is asking me, why is it that the Democrats and the Republicans always trying to court the blacks and the Hispanic vote? Well, I'm going to tell you the reason why. I'm going to tell you the reason why. The reason why is this. Because white America is divided. Half of them are conservative, half of them are liberal. Half of them is far to the right, half of them far to the left. Some of them, very few, try to actually act independent or try to be moderate. But think about this. When you have a country that divided, and I keep saying it again, you ever notice the election, the trends of the election of presidents go? We go to Ronald Reagan. Let's go to Jimmy Carter, Democrat. Ronald Reagan, Republican. George W. Bush Sr., all right, um, Republican. Bill Clinton, uh, Democrat. Um, George W. Bush Jr., I think, all right, Republican. Barack Hussein Obama, Democrat. Donald Trump, Republican. So either way it goes, it stands that we're going to be dealing with what? What are we going to be dealing with again? A Democrat more likely in, in the, if not this election, next election. But you see, Trump, he has some very, very serious problems coming up in this election right here. I don't know how he's going to spend the COVID-19. I don't know how he's going to spend with all the civil unrest. And, and uh, black folks are just upset in this country. And the Hispanic folks, and not only that, white folks in this country is upset. They're more passionate about this Black Lives Matter movement than, than, than the melanated people are. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. The reason why they have to court the blacks and the Hispanics is because they are the swing vote. While we are nothing but maybe, maybe no more between 11 and 13 percent of the population, the Hispanics are somewhere like 15 to 16 percent of the population. They need um, the black vote and the Hispanic vote in order to sway the election. That's why they spend so much time trying to court them because you can't sit up here and dig in your heels and act like they don't matter. Come election time, they all end up in black churches. They all end up having. Uh, uh, the coons that come out and and, and, and and try to vouch for them and, and then they're forgotten about the next four or five years. It's just, it's just crazy. And then, of course, when, you know, Barack Hussein, Obama became president, boy, 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 did the black people find out that just because he has colored skin doesn't mean a damn thing? They sure don't. Don't mean nothing. So, there, it's going to be some type of election. Right now, it's looking like Biden is going to win but I don't know if Biden is going to be able to stay alive long enough to stay in a four years and be able to really be cognitive um, in, in his reasoning. I mean, because, man, that man is getting old. That man is really old to be running for president. What in the world? You know, you know, anybody know the schedule that a president has to keep up? Man, I don't know if he's capable of doing it. And if he puts Elizabeth Warren as a running mate, well, you know this country's finished. You know we finished. Some way, somehow, that woman is going to try her best to weasel her way into politics. I can't believe, man, I, I again, it still appalls me, though, with, with melanated people, black folks, it appalls me that they vote Democrat. It's just utterly uh, appalling to me. You can tell that people are content with not knowing what history is or what it says. Um, 
And the truth is, it don't make no difference who gets in office, Democrat or Republicans, because I'm sure that many of us all come to the same conclusion. They're all rats. It's just like WWE. They all act like they're enemies out there in front of everybody, but behind the scenes in the locker room, man, they're, they're going out to meals together. It's just entertainment. It's entertainment. And don't you think for one minute that they're divided. They're not divided. They know how to play mental gymnastics up on the public perception in order to get an expected outcome because they know that people are going to be passionate about whatever the news media crammed down their throat that they know. And so it's pretty sad. It's pretty sad the way we have been manipulated over the years, some of us, I ain't gonna say all of us, some of us. Uh, I still believe in stick to your guns and live in quiet and peaceful life and, and try to have as less contact and involvement uh, with the po politics of this world, the people of this world, and just try your best to enjoy life because you set up and turn on that dang TV and you listen to what they gotta say, it's the same old story. Sin, death, and hell. That's all it is. That's the only thing that that, that makes news day. Death and hell. I guarantee it didn't make news when I was old, holding the door for a little old lady today. That's a good gesture, isn't it? Anyway, don't get caught up in the hype. Okay, that's my take for right now. I'll give you a little bit more later.